So with the winter storm on the way, the state is getting ready to pull out every drop of moisture. Yeah, new specialist Lindsay Ertz has details on Utah's cloud seeding efforts. Sarah, and, uh, Lindsay, we might need a quick recap here on what is cloud seeding. Well, Mike, put very simply, we send natural chemicals up into the air to increase the moisture that comes from the clouds, like with the storm that's rolling in. It's meant to help increase our water supply. And again, with this approaching storm, the state's meteorologists are gearing up. An unassuming shed in a field in Kaysville. We have solution inside of this trailer that has seeding materials in it. Is actually a very important tool in the state's effort to increase our water supply. Those seeding materials are, are chemical elements that attract water molecules and cause liquid water to freeze and congregate inside of the storm cloud. This is just one of 170 stations like these around the state. Inside. Seeding material is carried through the system up to the burn chamber. Uh, the burn disperses the seeding material. For those cloud seeding stations on the ground to work during a storm. We're hitting a button. The state is contracted with a company called North American Weather Consultants. Their president says their meteorologists are busy timing every element of tomorrow's winter weather. So there's going to be some periods over the next three days that are seeding worthy. Uh, there's also going to be periods where there's not enough active moisture in the cloud to really merit seeding. The company also plans to send up their plane. They're going into the conditions that every pilot is trained to avoid. They're looking for the pockets of the most available liquid water inside of the cloud deck. They release the same agents, but in the clouds. Tomorrow's storm is just one of many, but over the course of the winter, the company's president says we could get an extra 3% yield in our water. 3% doesn't sound like a lot, but that equates to billions of water or billions of gallons of additional runoff. So while the rest of us are dreading the winter special for the commute and the shoveling. Yeah, we get really excited or really exhausted. <laughs> Now, the company says that the state does have plans to expand its cloud seeding network. They plan to add 100 of those ground cloud seeding stations across the state in the coming year. Reporting live, Lindsay Ayer, it's KSL 5 News. That puts more snow in the mountains. We are all about the 3%, aren't we? Lindsay, thank you.